the, the Chinese have tested, a, a, have shown the ability to, to knock down a satellite. Um, the Russians also have that capability. Other countries have the ability to, for example, jam GPS. GPS, or the Global Positioning System, that gives you your, your blue dot on your phone and tells you, you know, which lane of traffic you should be and to take the next exit. Um, uh, that, that GPS system is actually just a, a set of satellites. There are about 37 of them on orbit now, and they send out very weak radio signals. And if you can pick up any three of those radio signals off of your, your smartphone, it can tell you where your smartphone is or where your car is in a GPS-enabled car. You can jam those signals pretty easily. So uh, it's a little bit like um, if you've got a teenager who's cranked the volume on a, on a, on a stereo, and you're listening to somebody whisper, you can't hear the whisper. And so it's pretty easy to jam those signals. Um, and we're, we're concerned about a GPS denied environment and what that would do to the American economy and to the American military. Both the Chinese and the Russians have demonstrated the ability to use, um, use lasers uh, to to uh, disable or dazzle satellites or cyber or high power microwaves. So it's um, some of those uh, technologies are temporary and non-destructive, as, as some of them uh, can actually destroy or, a satellite or, or uh, uh, disable it disable it permanently. So, as you can imagine, if um, if you are if if you've got a satellite that's taking pictures of things that's looking from space, and you shine a laser at its eyes, it 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 can't see, and so. But once it turns away, it may it may continue to operate and be able to see. So that's a non-destructive interference um, with a satellite.